Hey everybody, it's some type of artist, and welcome back to Earthworm Gym 2. Oh man, I love this level. <laughs> it's this... This is the ultimate what the hell is Earthworm Gym kind of level. So, for whatever reason, Jim is disguised as a blind cave salamander. I don't know if that's like a type of salamander, or if that's like just a description of him, but he is. And he can fly, for whatever reason, holding on to his little gun. We are inside... I don't know if we're... I don't know what we're inside. We are inside some kind of intestinal track, because... There's all of these little things on the wall that hurt us if we touch it. And it's like the lining of it. There are... I don't know what those are, but they're there and they make the granny sounds. There are bumpers, like pinball bumpers. There are fish we can stand on. There are little collectibles we can get in this level, as indicated in the bottom right. And I'm not going to spoil what that does just yet, but... That, it's it's just another thing that's just like, what the hell is Earthworm Gym 2? But, how are we doing, everybody? There's pencils here. <laughs> just stabbed into whatever we're in. So that's interesting. Oh, man. This, this level, man. This game, this game is just... This game is just like a fever dream sometimes. You know, I usually hate it when, like, people, like, hype up how weird or random something is, but, like... <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you just gotta, like, look at something and then, like, do a double take and then, like, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> but, I don't know, to me, this wasn't so weird when I was a kid. These are just, like, things I accepted. Like, I don't know. Like in Doug. Like, Nickelodeon's Doug. I never really... Oh, and there's windows to a daylight crescent moon as well. And this is also, like, the first part of Moonlight Sonata as well that's playing. Yeah, this game is, like, something for Moonlight Sonata, because then the very last level of the game has the third movement as its background music. But... Anyway, so like Nickelodeon's Doug, like everybody's a different color, right? Like, I mean, like, there's that's a show that has like colors of the rainbow for every single skin color, and it's like, it's something so weird to think about now, because it's like, you know, that's kind of cool, but it's also kind of like, why? But I, I don't know, as a kid, I just kind of like, it's, I don't know, I just kind of ran with it. You know, there, there were just some things as a kid that I just kind of, like, accepted as normal because I didn't really have, like, anything else to compare it to. So, like, when one of your first cartoons is, like, blue-skinned people and purple-skinned people, you just kind of, like, go with it and don't, like, question it. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting that Doug is, like, the only white kid in the world. <laughs> well, I guess him and Judy are, and his dad. But... I don't know. His mom is pink, and I'm trying to think if there's any other pink characters in that show. Also, I just watched the whole series. My friend had got me the complete Nickelodeon series for my birthday. So I just finished it up, so I should know, but I'm sure I'm forgetting. No! Larry, that AV nerd. One of the few characters that actually has, like, eyeballs instead of, like, little black dots for eyes. Larry's weird, because, like, he, he even shows up as, like, a different color early on, like, as a lot of cartoon characters, like, may do. They'll, like, show up as, like, background characters first, and then once they become main characters, they'll, like, be altered somewhat. I guess, like, that like that episode of The Simpsons when, uh, what's-his-face was black instead of yellow, and then he's, like, yellow from there on out. What's his- god, Smithers! Jeez, thank you. I can't believe I didn't think of it. Um, yeah, I don't even know how I got onto this line of it, but Doug, what a crazy show. You know, I can understand why, like, a lot of people don't really like Doug, because Doug is, like, for a cartoon, it's kind of, I don't know, it's not like a drama, but it's very grounded in reality, but that's what I kind of, like, like about it. Like, Doug is, like, the world Doug lives in is, like... The kind of world I wanted to live in, even still want to live in, where, like, 
Places are, like, big and open. Like, there's green grass, like, everywhere. The, oh my god, that thing just homed in on me. Like, I, I don't know. I just really like the whole neighborhood of Bluffington a lot. It, it seems like it'd be a very nice place to grow up and live. In fact, I, I'd still kind of like to be something like that now. I don't know. I'm not really good with, like, cities or, like, tight places or tight roads and stuff like that. Bluffington just seems like a very open space to me, and I think I'd really like being there. But... Anyway, maybe we should start talking about another cartoon. Maybe relating to the game we're playing. Hello. Yeah, Earthworm... Well, we'll have to wait, because... <laughs> All of a sudden, we have these velvet ropes, and we end the level with a game show, of all things, and none of these questions make any sense. So let's see what's the first one. Phrase your response in the form of a question. Yes, no, or maybe. Uh, maybe? Nope. I have no idea. I, I know one answer off the top of my head. Or two, I guess. This is the other one. What is Princess? What's her name? Real name? <laughs> it's what's her name? Hey, you! <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Can Jim speak German? Ja. Nine. Bitte, wo ist die Toiletten? I don't know how to do. Uh, I don't know. I chose nine. I guess I got it right. Got my health fulfilled. How do you compute the area of a circle? <laughs> Pi R square. Pi around, but Nick Jones is square. Ask your doctor. I'm gonna ask my doctor on that. Oh, I got it right. Good job. Um, yes, yeah, so all these worms were just like chances for these questions. Hey kids, what time is it? Stop it. I can't stand it, Nick. I can't stand it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten that question before. How does Jim spell his first name? <laughs> uh, Midge? Sure, why not? The more you get in a row, the better your prizes get, but I hell if I can get these in a row. Does Jim have piranha in his aquarium? A, B, both A and B. It's definitely both A and B. Oh, nice it is. <laughs> like, what are we playing right now? <laughs> can Peter Puppy have a bite of your ice cream sandwich? Yes, no, uh, over my dead body. <laughs> oh man, I knew it was a good choice to play this game. Who is the king of the animals in Africa? Marimba? Help, I can't swim. <laughs> Earthworm Jimba? Oh. <laughs> Can you rub your stomach and pat your head? Yes, no. Yes, but Simon didn't say. <laughs> when is Jim's birthday? The day he was born, June 9th, 1994, or today if you have a present. It's not today if you have a present, but I love that answer so much, and I... If I'm quick enough, I try to, uh, answer that if someone asks me what my birthday is. So I was just gonna speed up this part, but let's see. Oh, thank god I did that. You have no idea how much I can't stand Simon memory games like this if I can't, like, do it immediately and Jim just floats so slowly. Oh, boy. It was me, Jim, the whole time. Now let's get out of here. But what was I saying? Um, <laughs> I love when that happens. Um, 
I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, so um, one of the games I played a lot at a friend's house when I was younger was Pitfall the Mayan Adventure, and I had found it in a, um, in, like, a used game store for, like, a retro game store, um, f uh, a few weeks ago, actually, and I finally just put it in to, like, see what it was like. Um, to, well, not, to, not what it was like, but to, like, make sure it was working, because... You know, I, I don't I don't even know if I can do returns after a certain period of time with there or not, but I was playing it earlier, and one of the bonus games in there is one of those Simon Says things. I don't know. This level here, you, you ride your rocket in this level, and you have to take this balloon, like, all the way with you to the end of the level. This, this is... I honestly don't really like this level that much. I used to like it more when I was a kid, but, like, I just want that earth. Thank you. But, uh, nowadays, I, I just... It's it's not fun. I normally don't do it this way either. What I normally do is just, like, go through the whole level, take out all the enemies, and then, like, bring the balloon back. It's got, like, dynamite strapped to it, so you can't, like, really, like... Shoot it. These, like, natives, they launch at you. They'll hang on to your ship, and they'll, like, slowly drain your health. Oh, God, and then there's, like, these things... I don't know exactly know what the uh, engines you get from them do. I think it makes your ship, like, fly a little faster. There's rockets on, like, the sides of the level, too. Um, they'll, like, send you soaring in, like, the opposite direction. Or whatever direction they're facing, I guess. So, like, it helps if you, like, if you were doing what I was normally do and just, like, on, can we get this, like, I hate having the balloon, like, all the way down there because, like, it's, like, right in front of a rocket that was just gonna zoom me back. I don't know, this level just honestly is kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not a huge fan of it. The music's really nice, though. I, I do like the music. If you're really good, which I I'm not too good at doing it, you can kind of, like, use one of the rockets that boosts you forward to, like, hit the balloon all the way forward. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I started doing it that other way, where I just clear stuff out. Maybe it's something towards the end of the level that, like, I, I don't know, just really impedes, impedes your progress, or maybe I just kind of sucked as a kid and the balloon blew up too much. Because if the balloon blows up too much, you got to go, like, all the way back to the beginning of the level and get another one, which, you know, isn't exactly the most fun thing in the world to do. Oh, God, how am I going to get it now? But, as you can see, we're going up to a lot of gross green slime. It's actually mucus, I believe, because, like, how... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. So, you know how I have, like, snot in my backpack? I was like, I guess snot it can be your sidekick if you're, if you're from Jim's going to have a sidekick at all. But, like, I always thought that th there's another snot character called Major Mucus. And, and I guess according to Earthworm Jim 1's manual, Major Mucus was the one that, like, stole Jim's power suit in the first place. And then, um, he, like, got in a fight with Psycho. There he is in all his glory. He's very big in this game compared to Jim. He's about the same size as him in the first game. But, yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. Maybe I'll go back to doing it this way, because it just kind of takes twice as long either way. I just end up taking a whole lot of damage. Oh, we have another Poppy Love level. Ain't that great? Um, yeah, uh, it, it's weird. I, I guess this is when I'm going to talk about, like, the toys of Earthworm Jim, and it's a good level to do it at, too. So I always thought Major Mucus was, like, Psycho's sidekick, because, like, the Earthworm Jim toys had, like, that thing where they'll come with, like, the one main action figure, and then, like, a smaller figurine of a different character that, like, didn't, like, have opposable, like, limbs or anything like that. So, Psycho came with Major Mucus. I remember that. So, I, in my head, I always thought that, like, they were partners or something like that. Now, I don't really remember much about the cartoon at all, unfortunately. So, I can't really tell if, like, that was something that was in the cartoon or not. But, I had quite a number of Earthworm Jim toys that I unfortunately no longer have. Like, about ten years ago, our family was, like, doing a major, like purge of our garage so I don't know at the time I kind of figured I didn't want any of my toys when I was a kid anymore which I can't stand because I lost a ton of really cool Pokemon 
those Pokemon Tomy figurines that I really wish I still had, but that's a story for another time. Um, but all my Earthworm Jim figures went with them too. But I did have Jim. Jim had like Jim came with his like little gun and you know his there was like a button somewhere that made his like head shoot out at people. Um, and the figurine that came with him was Snot. But what was really weird, Snot was red. So it was like, it was like bloody snot, like, like when you like, you have like a nosebleed or something, and like you blow your nose and like all the boogers and the snot and everything are all red. It was like, it was really gross. I, I think in like later revisions they made it green, but he looked like mean then. Like he, like snot looks like such a little goofball in the games, but he, I don't know, he looked like a bad guy <laughs> as a toy. And then I had Peter Puppy too, like the bigger toy of him was his like monster form and then came with like a little figurine of Peter Puppy. And then um, I had, I actually, from the first level, Bob the Goldfish, I did have like the number four cat, his bodyguard, and they came in the little figurine was Bob. Um, and then another one that I was just thinking about the other day, that I thought was like something, something totally different. But I think it was from Earthworm Jim. Was this like giant like rat? Well, it wasn't giant, but like you know, a big rat, like a humanoid rat with armor on it. I always thought that was like a Ninja Turtle villain or foot soldier or something. But um, I think it was actually a henchman for another villain we'll see in a little bit called Evil the Cat that rules over the planet Heck, which is probably my favorite part of the first Earthworm Jim game. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the planet called Planet Heck, and it's filled with, like, lawyers running around. <laughs> and there's this cool, uh, cool-looking evil cat there that runs it. But he's in this game, but his level isn't, like, nearly as fun. Um, but his- so, I, like, his figurine was Evil the Cat, because I did remember having an Evil the Cat toy when I was younger. And then I had, like, a scuba Earthworm Jim toy. I have no idea what the figurine for that could have been. It was just basically Earthworm Jim in, like, a green suit with, like, a helmet on his head. Kind of like Buzz Lightyear. I remember, like... I remember taking it into the bathtub a lot with me when I was a kid. Because, like, it was one of those toys where it was, like... If you would submerge it in water, water would get stuck in, like, the helmet part permanently. Or not permanently, but it would sure take a long time for it to evaporate. And there was, like, no way to take the, you know, the helmet part off. Shoot. We're... Better do better on here. Um... Because I remember we had, like, a buzz... Remember when Toy Story came out on in, like, the theaters for the first time? I think it was Burger King that had the Toy Story toys, but I remember we had, like, a little Buzz Lightyear figure, and we'd take him in the bath, too. By we, I mean, like, you know, like me taking a bath, or I, I guess when my sister took baths, too, because I think it was, like, you know, her toy as well. This is all, like, when we were, like, a lot younger. Um... But yeah, I always remember, like, water filling that up, and I think that's all the Earthworm Jim toys I did have. Which, you know, I, I, won't, I don't want to say that's all we had, because that, that's kind of a lot for a line of toys. You know, I remember, like, Dragon Ball Z had, like, a bunch of line of American toys as well, and I had several of those as well. But I remember being in the toy stores, and there was, like, there was, like, a package for, like, every single character. Whoa. Yeah, so if you drop a bomb, it does deal quite a bit of damage to you. Uh, uh, to be perfectly honest, Peter Puppy shouldn't be your, like, biggest worry in this level for getting damaged. It should be that bomb. And every round is, like, a checkpoint, so you don't have to worry about doing, like, the entire thing over again. You can also, like, dive, too, but I don't know. It never really seems worth it to me. God, we already lost so many. We, what I should be doing, if I wasn't talking about all my memories with toys, you can, like, flip your marshmallow back and forth like this, and the hitbox does move with it. So, when you throw in a bunch of puppies like that, you should maybe get into the habit of, like, facing the way. Well, if you do it right... Jesus, I'm so bad. If you do it right, well, you should get into the habit of having the marshmallow face the way that Jim is running. But... 
Yeah, don't remember a lot about the cartoon, though. I mean, this is gonna kind of sound sacrilegious to Earthworm Jim fans. Because every time the Earthworm Jim cartoon is brought up, they, like, all say how much they love the theme song. I actually think the theme song is really, really annoying. It kind of turned me off from wanting to check out the show again. Uh, I, I don't know. It just found... It's, it sounds like... It's nostalgic, but, like... It also sounds very much like a little kid's cartoon show. And that's always, like, a weird thing to say, because, like... It's a cartoon show, it should, like, sound like it's made for kids, but I don't know. Like, in my opinion, I, I think certain things... ...have a more lasting appeal for when you're an adult, as well. I don't know, maybe we could talk about that next time in one of my other favorite levels. <laughs> Uh, oh boy, this level. Pick up cows. Wouldn't it be great if it was, like, literally, like, Jim going to bars and hitting on cows? Maybe it is. It is that kind of game. But I guess we'll see. I'll see you later, guys.